bonus stage, a very good friend of mine, he floated all the way here from a country that you know. Uh, give it up for Luis Fuentes, everybody. <laughs> calls me Mark Anthony on diabetes. Uh, my friends call me John Linguist, I'm who got stung by a bee. But I'm better known in the wellness community as the before picture. Because that's what shake weight does to you. You know, you're always like doing this and you're not losing pounds. I used to weigh 300 pounds, now I weigh 299, you know. Because it helps with masturbation, right? Anyway. Oh man, so happy to be here at the Funny Bone. Uh, I come all the way from San Juan, Puerto Rico, which is located in Mexico. Uh, <laughs> if you didn't laugh at that joke, don't worry. I'll give you a map by the end of the show. I'll help you out. By the way, Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, not the same people, okay? They get discounts at Home Depot. We don't. They want all the jobs, we well, you know. We just want to chill, boink your white women, and have parades for no reason whatsoever. Yep, it wasn't a gay guy who invented parades. It was a New Yorican with Crocs and cargo pants. Okay, get it right, especially the Crocs part. All right, I'm teaching people to get the difference. Like, Americans and Puerto Ricans, there's a big difference there, you know. We like to play tag with baseball bats. Uh, you guys like to play that game called uh, Angry Birds. We like to keep it real. We like to keep it OG. You know, we like to play cockfights. Yeah. Uh, and Puerto Ricans. Here's here's a cool fact about Puerto Ricans. We actually don't have to play in the NFL for to get arrested for doing stupid shit. They just ask you. Boop, boop, boop. Sir, uh, can I see your license? It says Puerto Rican. Get out of the car! <sighs> Not that it has happened to me, by the way. Uh, anyways, I drove all the way from Puerto Rico to the United States. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real, yeah. On, on the way here, I blew a tire, so I drowned. <laughs> no, seriously, my car is back in Puerto Rico. Uh, the reason I haven't brought it here is because I put a Team Tebow sticker in the back of the car, and now it won't start. Yeah, terrible. <laughs> Speaking of sports, anybody loves basketball in here? Oh, there you go. There you go. Who's, what's your favorite team? She's. <laughs> I'm sorry that you have to spit food on me. Don't worry. What? Miami Heat? Great, I hate you. There you go. It's awesome. Uh, so me and my friends, whenever we watch uh, basketball games, we play a game called drink a shot of whiskey every time Kobe Bryant makes a pass. By the end of the night, we're still sober. <laughs> Being from Puerto Rico, I get like crazy questions, you know. Not crazy, you know, like, I like just uh, having people learn about a culture. And they ask me things, you know, simple things, like very normal stuff. Can you go to Puerto Rico without a, without a passport? Yes, you can. Do they speak English in Puerto Rico? Yes, they do. But sometimes I got like really weird questions, you know, like, like, do they, do you guys get movies the same time as we do? No, 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 two weeks ago we just got Robocop. <laughs> Oh, by the way, by the way, don't don't spoil Police Academy 4 for me, we're still at 2. A girl asked me the other day, do you guys use the same currency as we do? No, no, we actually beat up people and use tea as currency. <laughs> yes, tea. I told you, yeah. You know, if tea was currency, definitely Kentucky would be Detroit. 
<laughs> the guy's like, oh, he's trying to laugh, but he's like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh man, let's see. Uh, my favorite animal is stuffed. <laughs> Anybody has Shazam? The app Shazam? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, Shazam is this app that you can use to detect music. It tells you like the singer, you know, it's like blasting back here the music and you just turn it on and it tells you the singer, you know, the album, all that crap. I like to use Shazam to detect weird noises. Like I Shazam a garbage truck and it's a, I'm not saying that you're a garbage truck, I do apologize. I'm just committee purposes. How's your food, by the way? Excellent. Anyway, I Shazam a garbage truck and it said, is this Pitbull? I Shazam a blender and it said, this is Marum Cinco. Which, by the way, my Shazam is in Spanish. So that's why it said Marum Cinco. Anyway, you'll get it. I Shazam a what? <laughs> a one-sided boxing match and it said, yep, Rihanna. <laughs> this guy knows what I mean. I bet your favorite radio station is Chris Brown Radio. Where the hits keep on coming. All right. <laughs> oh, let's see, let's see. You know how you can tell someone's a vegan? Oh, they'll fucking tell you. You know how you can tell someone's Puerto Rican? Oh, they'll fucking tell you, all right? You know what's the difference? Puerto Rican might steal your purse. Just saying, just saying. Uh, let's see, what else? On the news, Beyonce was in the news like a couple months ago, because I'm up to date in news. Uh, she was pregnant, but then she wasn't. That was kind of weird. You know, it would have been funny if she was actually pregnant, and it wasn't Jay-Z's kid. So then Jay-Z, the next day, would have to write a song called, Yep, I Got a Hundred Problems. <laughs> That's the shit. Big pimp. Uh, I come from a single parent house. My biological father ran away when I was little. The only thing that I knew about him is that he was black. But when I turned 21, I kind of noticed that because of my hair. I'll tell you, I got the worst hair. I'm not saying that black people have the worst hair. I do apologize. I didn't mean it that way. But I'm just saying that I, you know, I grow an afro. I grow an afro, like the naked gun afro from OJ Simpson. You know what you remember? So, like, I'm the type of afro that you go underwater in a pool and then you come up and <laughs> dry. That's my hair. That's my hair. It doesn't happen just to black people. Jewish people too get it, right? Right, Billy? Right? <laughs> oh, let's see, let's see. Uh, I, had, I had a new joke that I wanted to try out. I don't know if it's going to work out, but, you know, F it. You guys are having fun, right? Yeah. There you go. Okay, uh, so, uh, anybody playing Grand Theft Auto here? Yeah. 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 yeah! You sound like you already got the tank. You're already walking over people and... So, uh, I love playing Grand Theft Auto. I love this game. The only problem is that you can't talk about it at work. The other day... <laughs> yeah, you can't. The other day I was talking to my friend and we're into this Grand Theft Auto conversation, but right in the middle of the conversation, my boss comes in. And I'm saying, yeah, so I was at the strip club. I'm throwing a batch of money to my stripper. Then she asked me to go in the back. And she gave me a lap dance. Then she said she wanted to take me home. But you know what? I realized that I was broke. So I got out of the car, switched to my back, and just started beating the hell out of her. <laughs> and cha-ching, I got my money back, man. <laughs> that was the last time I worked at Planned Parenthood. <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys, well. It's been a fun crowd. Let me, let me give you, I'm, I'm gonna give you guys a poem before I go. I wrote this poem. You doing all, you doing all right, ma'am? Yeah. Ma'am, uh, what's your name? No, the bold guy behind you. What's ma'am? Because Puerto Ricans, we can tell, like, ma'am. See? Si? Mande? Lindsay? Lindsay, okay. Lindsay, are, are you single? No. Great. Great. Let me ask you again and you say yes. 
No, I'm, I'm just kidding. I hate math too. So that leads on you. Okay. Any single ladies in the house? <laughs> okay. So I'm just gonna dedicate. <laughs> Moving on. I'm just gonna dedicate this poem to all the beautiful ladies out there. I want you guys you know, grab your girlfriend by the hand. Don't be shy. It's crazy. She'll accept you either way. Come on, grab her hand. I'm gonna say this poem for you too. Look at him. Don't look at the chicken tenders. Look at him. Uh, do you think so? Oh! Uh, you don't get to pour barbecue on that. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna help you here with this poem, okay? I got your back. I got no, you gotta make it blow up, buddy. There you go. Right. This poem is called, look at him, don't look at me. I'm single in Puerto Rican, but you're still with him. Okay. This poem is called, this poem is called Kindergarten. Back in kindergarten, I fell in love with this girl. The next day, I bought her a rose. The next day, I bought her lunch. The next day, I went over for a kiss. The next day, her parents called the cops. That's when I stopped being a teacher. <laughs> Back in kindergarten. <laughs> Tell her that you love her. Oh, all right, that's my time. I'm going to this. Thank you, everybody.